This is 1944 P. Jefferson Nichols struck on a silver dime planchet, a rare error coin in MS-63 condition. According to Heritage, the present lot is a lustrous example with light, honey gold toning and minimal post-strike abrasions. The high points are incompletely brought up and those areas retain the planchet surface. The date and the meat mark are clear and the complete. The strike is uncentered with most of we trust and United States off of the flank. Liberty and the date have stretched appearance due to unstrained outward metal flow. It was sold for $2400. This is 1961 the Roosevelt time in MS67 plus condition with full bands. Elusive 10 cent piece with attractive amber gold hues on obverse. According to NGC, despite massive hoarding of all USA coins dated from mid 1950s through 1964, top notch gems of this issue are a bit elusive. Denver Mint dimes of this period tend to be better struck than their Philadelphia cousins, resulting in a greater proportion of full bands or full torch pieces. But they are also more likely to be marred by numerous small bag marks. This coin was sold for $1050. This is 1963 Franklin half dollar struck on a nickel planchet, an error coin graded as MS66 condition with full bell lines by PCGS. Somehow a nickel planchet found its way into a half dollar planchet bean at the Philadelphia Mint. Perhaps a bean was used for nickel planchets earlier than employed for half dollars, and a stray planchet got stuck and fell out during the production of halves. The planchet fell nearly perfectly centered on dies, with Franklin's portrait and the Liberty's bell fully visible. It was sold for $8,518.75. Here is 1956 the Jefferson Nickel in MS66 plus condition with full steps. The central steps definition is excellent and this single characteristic distinguishes the current coin was a plethora of certified 1956D nickels. Full steps coins are universally scarce and they are rare at the premium gem level. This piece displays satiny lilac grey and bluish luster with few contact marks. Sold on August 17, 2023 for $2640. 1974 D. Lincoln sent in a 67 plus red condition. According to PCGS, the 1974 D. Lincoln sent is very common. The mean struck over 4.2 billion examples that every Lincoln Cent collector can own many of them. In circulated grades up to MS66, they are common. In MS67, they are much scarcer overall. In MS68 or higher, they are considered rare. This MS67 Plus gem was sold for $1125.01 and one cent with buyer's fee. This is 1972 Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition with full steps. Georgia's gold and pastel rainbow tones grace both sides of this premium gem. Lusters and fully strikes is a fantastic piece for the registry collector. It was sold for $2,500. Moving on with this 1982 D small date cent struck on a bronze planchet. According to Stexbauer, this error variety dates to the 1982, an important transitional year in the modern Lincoln cent series. The modified design that the mint prepared for use with a new copper-plated zinc planchet that become known in numismatic circle as a small date variety. This technical misnomer seems as related above the letters in the word liberty and the motting that we trust were also modified. The easiest way to identify the small date variety nonetheless is by looking at the digits in the date. On the small date variety, the digit 2 in the date is much farther from the rims than it is on the large date variety. This highly sought after penny was sold for $18,800. 1919D Mercury Dime in MS64 Plus condition with full bands. Colorful iridescence cradles the borders of this impressive near gem. The luster is overall satiny and entirely unbroken by friction or blemishes of consequence. A full strike is apparent to all devices with intricacies sharp for even the most stubborn regions. The obverse is host to a number of die cracks concentrated on lower peripheries with a bisecting crack that extends from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock border. A George's representative of this desirable strike and condition rarity. It was sold for $6,462.50. This is 1917 S Walking Liberty of Dollar in Mid State 65. 
light gold toning highlights lovely luster and stunning details. The 1917S of Burr's Meatmark variety is the scarcest of all 1917 combinations. To find one in gem uncirculated condition is nearly impossible. This one was sold for $15,250. Here is 1987 Lincoln Sentin MS69 red condition. MS69 stands for Mint State 69, which is a grade on the Sheldon numerical scale used to evaluate the condition of the coin. A coin with an MS69 grade is close to perfect, showing only very minor imperfections under magnification. To determine the specific value of your 1987 Lincoln cent, you could consult reputable coin price guides or online marketplaces to see what similar coins are selling for. This specimen was sold for $4,050 with buyer's fee. Here is 1934 Washington Quarter with medium motto. A graded in mean state 68 by PCGS wonderfully preserved ultra gem with a coveted CC seal of approval. Smooth, flawless surfaces display frosty luster. The obverse is generally untoned while the reverse is awash in attractive lavender, pale blue and peach tints. This is the most common of three primary 1934 obverse designs. It was sold for $9,750. Another highly sought after error variety, 1983 proof was what time with no S mint mark, graded as PR70 deep cameo by PCGES. The famous proof issue dime from the San Francisco mint missing the mint mark. Very tough to locate and perfect 70 grade. It was sold for $5,500. This is 1949 as Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition with full steps. Vivid rings of iridescence surround the rims on each side with lighter toned centers. Bright mint luster is seen beneath the toning. The 1949 S is a remarkably scarce issue with a full step incidence, estimated at 1 in 150 coins. This scarce gem was sold for $15,275. This is 1942 D. Jefferson Nicola Nema 66 condition with full steps, highly sought after D over horizontal D variety. According to Heritage, the mint mark was initially punched into the die in a horizontal position and then corrected on the immensely popular guidebook and cherry pickers variety. The FS501 is extremely difficult to locate in high grade and mint state examples always command extraordinary premiums. The present coin is a spectacular premium gem with sharply detailed design elements and show full step definition on Monticello. The repunched mint mark is easily detected. The well preserved surfaces radiate satin mint luster under delicate shades of champagne toning. It fetched the sum of $31,725. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Have a nice day.